Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism, Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth, Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud, Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective, Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language, Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm, Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal, Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time, Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority, Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored, Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development, Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office, Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, Politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We are gathered together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. All together we say, I confess, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my, and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who enlightened the Slavic peoples through the brothers, Saints Kirill and Methodius, grant that our hearts may grasp the words of your teaching and perfect us as a people of one accord in true faith and right confession. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the letter of St. James. James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Consider it all joy, my brothers and sisters, when you encounter various trials, for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. And let perseverance be perfect, so that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. But if any of you lacks wisdom, 
he should ask God, who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should ask in faith, not doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed about by the wind. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord, since he is a man of two minds, unstable in all his ways. The brother in lowly circumstances should take pride in high standing, and the rich one in his lowliness, for he will pass away like the flower of the field. For the sun comes up with its scorching heat and dries up the grass, its flower droops, and the beauty of its appearance vanishes. So will the rich person fade away in the midst of his pursuits. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. It is good for me that I have been afflicted, that I may learn your statutes. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithfulness you have afflicted me. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Be kind to me, Lord, and I shall live. Please stand. Joy to my heart, your teaching is night to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees came forward and began to argue with Jesus, seeking from him a sign from heaven to test him. He sighed from the depth of his spirit and said, Why does this generation seek a sign? Amen, I say to you, no sign will be given to this generation. Then he left them, got into the boat again, and went off to the other shore. My dear brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Magandang umaga po sa atin lahat. I was at the National Museum last week. Dahil libre naman, I book a, I book um, a tour online, and I went to the section of anthropology, National Museum of Anthropology, there in Luneta, and I, I was quite fascinated with the section there with regards to how our um, Filipino forebears were um, doing the script, no, 
kung paano sila dati magsulat. Ito yung Baybayin script. It is contained in, sinusulat nila sa mga bambu, no? and it is there yung parang song hits dati. Doon nila binabasa habang, habang um, kumakanta sila. And there is also this pottery no, na nakalagay doon is a script of some um, rituals with how they were burying the dead. And also a script, no, klase ng pagsulat na naka-engrave sa copper. And it's really amazing, no, quite fascinating how wisdom no, was already prevalent no, in the pre-Hispanic native culture here in the islands na ang karunungan ay hindi lang available actually sa West, sa Europe, kundi dito, civilized na rin naman tayo bago pa dumating ang mga mananakop. I was reflecting on it, my dear brothers and sisters, because today, February 14, we are celebrating the memorial of St. Kirill and Methodius Sino ba sila? Sila yung mga misyonerong magkapatid na nagpunta sa Eurasia. Ngayon ay part ng Slavic nation, the Czech Republic, the Hungary area. No? Na were doing mission, may mga natives doon, may mga natives. But they were having hard time how to communicate the gospel to them. The wisdom of God. And so, no, itong magkapatid na ito, nag-invent sila ng sarili nilang text o script how to write. Ito ngayon yung sinasabing Cyrillic text o Cyrillic script. No? Kaya pag nagpunta kayo ng Russia, no? nagpunta kayo ng um, Belarus, no? ng Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, no? iba yung pagsusulat nila doon. Na hindi siya Greek, hindi rin siya Roman, Cyrillic siya. I was contemplating on it, and really, no, the wisdom of God is just out there. No? It is up to us how we are to make use of it, but how do we make use of it? We first do what? Recognize it and acknowledge it. This is what I can perhaps relate to in the first reading from the letter of James. Ang sabi dito, if any of you lacks wisdom, he should ask God who gives to all generously and ungrudgingly, and he will be given it. But he should not, but he should ask it in faith. Kumigi sa Dios ng karunungan. Pero sa paghingi natin minsan ng karunungan sa Dios, no? ang hindi natin mabitaw-bitawan ay ang ating mga biases. Ang hindi natin mabitiwitiwan ay yung tinatawag natin sa Tagalog na akala. No? Akala natin yun na. No? Na kahit nandyan na ang karunungan ng Diyos, no? kahit anong pangungumbinse, hindi tayo maniniwala. This is what perhaps what Jesus was having hard time with grappling in the gospel, no? when the Pharisees came forward again to him and began to argue with him, bigyan mo kami ng senyales, no? seeking a sign from heaven to test him. And Jesus said, wala akong ibibigay sa inyo na senyales. Alam niyo kung bakit? Nandyan na sa harapan ninyo eh. Pero hindi niyo naman nare-recognize. Ako na yun eh. Pero since may bias kayo sa akin, kahit anong sabihin ko sa inyo, hindi kayo maniniwala. Kaya nga, totoo rin yung sinabi ni Jesus, no? You may look, but not see. You may hear, but not listen. At doon papasok actually ang karunungan ng Diyos if we are able to, what? Recognize the wisdom of God. Acknowledge it. Already prevailing within the natural order. 
Kaya nga ho tayong mga Pilipino, no? Nung last year, 500 years, no? We are trying to regain our sense of identity. Regain that ancient wisdom that we have as a Filipino, no? as a native Filipino. Kaya nga yung, ano, yung Mission Cross, no? Anong text dito? Baybayin, di ba? No? Di nyo maintindihan, no? Ang makakaintindi lang nito, yung alin? Native culture. No? Pero ang Diyos patuloy na nagpapakilala sa atin. No? Ang karunungan ng Diyos patuloy na naghihintay na ma-discovery natin. Ang problema lang sa atin, we have so much akala. We have so much personal bias. We have so much thinking na akala natin, alam na natin ang lahat. Wala na yung sense of awe. Wala na yung sense of mystery. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, in this Holy Mass, let us pray to the Lord that through the intercession of St. Kirill, St. Kirill and Methodius, no? maging kasakapan din tayo ng Diyos na madiskubre ang kanyang karunungan. At sa pagdiskubre nito, maging kasangkapan din tayong maging misyonero para ipahayag ang kanyang mabuting balita para sa lahat. No sign will be given. You know what? Why? Because it's already there. Waiting for it for us to be discovered. Amen. Please stand. We turn in prayer to God the Father for the grace to change our lives and believe firmly in Christ's call to repentance. In every prayer we say, God of salvation, let us open to you. God of salvation, let us open to you. That the leaders of the church may work tirelessly in bringing God's message of repentance to those who seek the Lord with a sincere heart. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. That as sinners, we may come to a deeper realization of the love and mercy which God has for all who turn to him with a humble and contrite spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. That we may have a deep and true faith in God which is not limited to external signs and appearances. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. That the sick may realize God's constant love for them despite their trials and difficulties. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them, may the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. That the dead may find peace and happiness in the kingdom of God. Let us pray to the Lord. God of salvation, let us open to you. O Lord, guide us all the days of our lives of this troubled life. Grant us safety and blessed peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, upon the offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemoration of Saints Kirill and Methodius, and grant that these gifts may become the sign of a new humanity, reconciled to you in loving charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us on the festival of Saints Kirill and Methodius, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy life, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving you thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, saints Kirill and Methodius, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, 
we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the, the sins, sins of, of the world, world. Have, have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that you should, should enter under my roof, but only say, but only the, say word, the word, and my soul, and my soul shall, be shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, Father of all nations, who make us sharers in the one bread and one spirit and heirs of the eternal banquet, grant in your kindness on this feast day of Saints Kirill and Methodius that the multitude of your children, persevering in the same faith, may be united in building up the kingdom of justice and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God. Maria, in the name of God. 